Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25262. The build was released today and in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. Before starting the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, what you to note is that regarding the widget section, Microsoft is removing the sign in requirement for the widgets board and it's making it available for all users. You can now get weather updates on the taskbar, pin widgets from your favorite apps, or access personalized dynamic feed without an account. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft added a link to quick assist at the bottom of settings, system, and travel shooters so that it's easier to help if you're having issues with your PC. So you have this new quick link for the quick assist, which I think is a pretty Useful thing. Another important thing that I need to note is that in the dev channel, Microsoft is rolling out a new snipping tools app that will allow you to record the screen, which is a very nice improvement and a very nice addition that we've been waiting for a long time. With this new snipping tool app, you just have to select the record section, click on new, select the location of the screen where you want to record. You should see a countdown and the recording process should start. Once you stop it, you'll be able to save your recording wherever you want. For now, this feature is pretty limited. You don't have any options of selecting the video format, the video quality or the microphone for example, but Microsoft will add those features as they go on and I think this is a very nice new preview edition in the dev channel of Windows 11. Microsoft is also rolling out a media player update with the version 11.2 to 11.34 that brings the ability to browse through your video library by folder. If you don't have it yet, don't worry, just search up for updates in the Microsoft Store and you should be getting it pretty soon. Regarding changes and improvements, that's it pretty much in this build, but we have a ton of fixes. So for example, some general fixes. He fixed an issue where if the widgets app package was missing on your PC, Explorer.exe would crash in a loop after upgrading to build 25252. This issue is also believed to be the cause of Windows Sandbox not working in this build. They also fixed an issue that caused secondary drives or other PCI devices to not be viewable for certain insiders. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, they fixed an issue where with the system tray design updates, auto hiding the taskbar would stop working after you had interacted with, with the hidden icons flyouts, the fixed an issue that was causing a gap between full screen windows and the taskbar on the secondary monitors, the system tray area should no longer shift as the numbers change in the clock, the fixed an issue causing the top half of the media controls and quick settings to be missing sometimes. Regarding the search on the taskbar, they fixed the issue where you needed to press backspace after typing before you will see results for certain files ending with .cmd.exe or .bat and also they improved the performance of launching the screen window in certain cases. And now the following fixes will only be available for Windows insiders who received or have enabled the different treatments for how search looks on the taskbar that began rolling out to insiders with build 25252. They fixed an issue where the search box would not show up on multiple monitors as expected when clicking on either one. And they also fixed an issue when clicking the search box on the taskbar, the search box would momentarily flash before the search flyout displayed. Regarding input, they fix an issue where when dragging a window to a monitor with lower DPI, your mouse might appear to jump away from the window it was holding. Regarding the file explorer, they fix an issue causing explorer.exe to crash when opening certain items from the recent section in file explorer. Regarding settings, the Wi-Fi section of quick settings should no longer unexpectedly sometimes say network venue on certain entries. Regarding the task manager, they fix an issue where the graphs on the performance page in task manager might not update even though the real time update speed setting wasn't paused. And some other fixes, the Microsoft account sign in window should no longer unexpectedly sometimes have a black title bar when using light mode. They also adjusted the text when using the wireless display feature if you haven't enabled input yet, so it guides you to the correct place to do that. For more information regarding known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. That's it for this build, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.